House of Representatives is up and running after last week's bitter battle for Speaker. In one of its first moves, the Republican-led chamber is targeting the funding for the president's plan to add 87,000 new IRS agents. The GOP is pursuing what it calls a bold agenda, the first order of business to pass some new rules governing how the House operates. CBN Capitol Hill correspondent Matt Galka explains. House Republicans are hoping to show they can work together and put the drama of last week's Speaker of the House race behind them. They're ready to shift into work mode with week one priorities that include protecting the unborn and standing up to China. The House will be in order. Newly minted House Speaker Kevin McCarthy survived 15 rounds of voting and unrest in his own party before securing the Speaker's gavel. The first votes under his leadership weren't nearly as contentious. The House passed a rules package with only one Republican no vote. The typically routine procedures were a sticking point in negotiations last week. McCarthy made multiple concessions to hardliners in his party in order to secure his win. This rules package is a rules package that reflects this body the entirety of the Republican Party on making sure that we restore the people's house. And we are united to do that. Among those changes, doing away with omnibus spending bills and requiring a 72-hour review before a vote, as well as reversing a pandemic-era procedure allowing members to vote from remote locations. Just think about this. For the last two years, you've had proxy voting, including just a few weeks ago, you know, where you had dozens, if not over 100 members of Congress voting from a remote location on a $1.7 trillion spending bill that was written in dark of night and dropped on members before they could read it. Republicans then successfully passed their first bill, repealing a large chunk of funding for the IRS meant to help hire 87,000 new employees over the next 10 years. Democrats argued the resources were necessary. Our government should have the resources necessary to ensure that it's not just the middle class that pays our bills and pays our debt, but the wealthy tax dodgers who pay their taxes. Other priorities will include committees focusing on China, including a bill this week that would prevent exporting products from the Strategic Petroleum Reserve to the country. There are also two pro-life measures scheduled for week one, including a born alive bill that would penalize doctors who don't provide life-saving care to babies born after an attempted abortion. There will also be a resolution condemning attacks on crisis pregnancy centers and religious groups. We think it's important that they set the tone uh, showing that the pro-life issue is extremely important to the party and to this Congress. The House will also look to pass a bill next week that would codify the Hyde Amendment, which prohibits federal funds from being used on abortion procedures. Matt Gelka, CBN News. Well, welcome to a new Congress. Uh, now the issue is, will it make it through the U.S. Senate? And I certainly applaud them for saying no more on this omnibus bill. Uh, let's have these things separated out so that we can actually be making intelligent decisions and not just trying to decide things in one lump bill. If you have a problem with one particular part, it means you vote against all of it. Uh, that's why they put it all together. They're trying to hide some things in that. And that 72-hour review is absolutely important to imagine passing legislation that you haven't even read, but they've been doing it for some time. Well, in other news, five major storms have struck California just since Christmas. Heavy rains are drenching the state, bring, bringing floods, potential mudslides. Efren Graham has more on that story from our CBN News Bureau in Washington. Efren? Gordon, state officials say the storms are rolling through California, the worst they've seen in years. The Federal Emergency Management Agency issued a disaster declaration for the state Monday, anticipating that reservoirs and rivers will flood. About 3,000 people statewide are fleeing their homes, including, including residents of the wealthy Southern California community of Montecito. At least 14 people have died in the storms. Down trees and high winds knocking out power to about 87,000 customers. Forecasters predict more storms will continue hitting California for at least another week. Buffalo Bills defensive back Damar Hamlin is home in Buffalo today, continuing his recovery in a local hospital. Hamlin was flown home yesterday, exactly one week after he collapsed on the field during a nationally televised game in Cincinnati. The dramatic episode spurred a wave of prayer across the country, 
including by sportscasters on national television. Upon his release from the Cincinnati Hospital, doctors said Hamlin has been doing occupational and physical therapy, eating a regular diet and meeting with family members. Sunday, Hamlin tweeted, he'd like to be on the field with his teammates, but, quote, God is using me in a different way. Answer to prayer indeed. Gordon. It is an answer to prayer, and certainly God is using him in a different way. And I heartily agree with his admonition to all of us, tell somebody you love them today. As newlyweds, Mark and Stacy racked up debt and juggled bills. They never imagined that one day their business revenue would skyrocket to $200,000 a month, and they would be loaning capital to companies. Their turnaround began when the couple discovered the power of giving. In their free time, entrepreneurs Mike and Stacy Healy enjoy spending time together. Over the years, they've developed multiple revenue streams from direct sales, marketing, consulting, and business solutions. They also loan capital to small businesses. Over the last few years, with what everybody's been dealing with pandemic-wise, um, you know, there are businesses that are on the verge of potentially going out of business. When banks can't do about 80% of the loans, we can do that kind of thing. As newlyweds and young entrepreneurs, the idea they'd one day loan money was a fantasy. They just juggled debts. We knew we wanted to be in business for ourselves, but we would try to keep our overhead super low. Um, and when we needed something or when any emergencies came up, we would just charge it. When we got pregnant with our first child, we did not have medical insurance. We had to take care of it by our own means. We got two cars on credit. We got diapers on credit. We got just about everything for quite some time on credit. We were constantly trying to decide which bill should we pay first. First two years, we'd accumulated maybe thirty-five to forty thousand dollars worth of debt. Stacy, raised in a Christian home, discovered a radio program that offered debt solutions. She and Mike followed up with an appointment for advice. It wasn't all about budgeting either. Yes, there was part of that, but it was more of getting to the root cause of why we were depending on credit cards and loans versus relying on God to meet our needs. At one meeting, Mike prayed with the advisor, a former businessman and pastor. Later at home, Mike had an encounter with God. I was just kind of sitting there uh, complaining to God. I'm trying to be an entrepreneur, want to have a family, that kind of thing. Literally, I felt like I caught on fire on my couch. And next thing you know, I just burst into tears. I just sat there and wept on my couch. And I didn't know what exactly happened, but it just felt like there was a freedom that just happened. It was pretty exciting because then it was like a whole new path and, and things really started to open up from that point on. After that encounter, Mike surrendered his life to Christ. Stacy renewed her faith too. They started attending church and learned more about tithing and giving. It says that he will put a hedge of protection around your stuff if you tithe, right? And you give offerings above and beyond that tithe. God himself says, test me in this. And so the way I looked at it was, okay, I'm gonna test him in this. If it doesn't work, I'm not gonna do it anymore. Mike also embraced the biblical principle of giving and receiving after he gifted his van to a large family at church. Within two months, Stacy won a new special edition Corvette in a fitness contest. We decided, let's take this, let's sell it, and we paid off debt. It was great. They tithed off the sale of the Corvette. And I remember going to church with that $4,000 tithe check, and I was like, this is what it's all about right here. Then later on, he came back to me and said, did you realize this is Luke 638? The same measure you give, it will be measured back to you. So we sewed a van, and we got a vehicle in return. It was amazing when we realized that. With $40,000 of debt paid off, the couple says their trust in God and his financial principles grew. They noticed that as they tithed and gave, they prospered in business. Once, they pledged $50,000 towards their church's building fund. I was getting some new business clients coming in with what I was doing at the time. We just kind of looked at each other and were like, hey, something has changed. And the only thing we've done was we started tithing. After that, Mike believed God wanted him to give $10,000 a month for a year. Mike had just started a new business, and the pledge was equal to all his monthly income. It was hard, but I knew that he had heard from God, so I just did it afraid. By the time I'm probably six months into giving $10,000 a month, I am way past, way past $10,000 a month in earnings. Within the next year, their business sales revenue grew from $5,000 a month 
to $200,000 a month. Their income increased too. It just skyrocketed. We knew it was God. We knew that, that it was part of the promise. We were faithful and obedient, and this was what was coming back because of that. It's a law. Every time we gave, it was out of thankfulness and worship to God. We just wanted to bless people a lot of times because we could and we knew God would take care of us in return. I would say for somebody who's never tithed, never given offerings, just read what it says in the Bible. It says, trust me. It says, test me in this. God says, it's like only place in the Bible God says, test him in it and see if he won't operate on your behalf and open up the windows of heaven and pour out such blessing you don't have room enough to contain it. Mike and Stacy learned the secret, and with that, they're challenging you. Go read the Bible. You'll find the same verses. Here's one for you. It's from Proverbs chapter 3. Honor the Lord with your possessions and with the first fruits of all your increase, so your barns will be filled with plenty and your vats will overflow with new wine. For Mike and Stacy, number one, they had to get right with God. And you heard their testimony of how all of that happened. Here's Mike on a couch complaining to God. And then he has a great revelation. And he says, no, I'm, I'm doing it wrong. I'm, I'm living my life the wrong way. I need to get right with God. And then Stacy followed and said, yes, I, I agree. We need to do this. And then they found these wonderful principles in the Bible, and they said, let's put this into practice and see what God will do. If you do the same thing, it's not some get-rich-quick scheme. It's certainly not an overnight success scheme. It is a life, a life where you say, I want to be obedient to God. And in that life, you're trying to mirror Him. You're trying to become into the image of Jesus Christ. Jesus was very generous. For God so loved the world that he gave is part of the gospel. When we get that same heart that we want to be generous, that we want to give, then wonderful things will happen and you will be a channel of blessing. Now, what are we asking you to do? We're asking you to join the 700 Club. How much is that? Well, it's just $20 a month. That's 65 cents a day. Some of you can join in higher levels. We have them for you. We have 700 Club Gold, which is $40 a month. We have 1,000 Club, which is $1,000 a year. That breaks out to $84 a month. 2,500 Club is 2,500 a year. Founder, $5,000 or more a year. Then Chairman Circle, 10,000 or more a year. At whatever level God is urging you to give, do it now and say, yes, I want to be obedient. Well, we're in our January telethon and we've got some wonderful outpourings from yesterday. I just want to let people know people are being very generous with God. Here's Winter Springs, Florida. Founder, $5,000. Ocean Springs, Mississippi, $6,000. Hawaii comes in at $7,500. San Antonio, Texas, $7,400. Then from Miami, Florida, Chairman Circle, $10,000. And I didn't know there was a Pittsburgh, California, but $12,000. We just want to acknowledge them. People are being generous. You can join with them and say yes. I want to be generous too. Call us, 1-800-700-7000. Well, Yonel and Sky were $65,000 in debt. What's worse, they had to open more credit cards just to pay for basic necessity. Then Yonel decided to build a wall of debt in their house, and here's how the couple took it down. When Sky and Yonel Aris met, they were inseparable. He was a man of integrity, a man of honor. He was honest, he was upstanding. And as we prayed together and sought the Lord together and did work together, we fell in love. I knew it instantly. I was like, okay, Lord, this, this is the one. Both came into the relationship with children from prior marriages and tried hard as single parents to make ends meet. Skye had four kids and worked in insurance. The father of two, Yanel, was an educator writer, producer, and part-time real estate agent. Because of a prior car accident, he knew that if he fell, he was at risk of paralysis. Then six months into their courtship, he took a spill while teaching and ended up just as the doctors had warned, requiring emergency spinal cord surgery and rehab. 
Here we are now, six children. I'm on workman's comp, and the bill's just building and mounting up. I'm like, hey, you know, maybe we shouldn't get married right now. Because I didn't know what, what challenges I would have later. And she was there every step of the way. You know, and she's like, no, trust God. So with Yanel's income down by 65%, they got married and chose to put God first and tithe. We never stopped worshiping with the tithe because you can't outgive God. That was a non-negotiable for me. I love the Lord. I'm a firm believer in just giving back. When he finally went back to work, the family was $50,000 in debt. I actually got more credit cards to pay my bills, you know, just basic necessities. Yanel remembers the day the lights were turned off. For a man, it was tough for me. And I'm like, Lord, I'm working this job. I'm faithful. I'm a tither. I'm a giver. I want to be in a position where I can take care of my family. He said, increase your giving. And I took a step of faith, and I shift my mindset. The job's not my source, Lord. You're my source. They increased their tithe to 11%. Soon after that, their financial situation started to improve. Yanel closed on a small house. Later, as the couple was praying about what God wanted them to give in the new year, we both said the amount, and it was everything we had in our account. And we said, all right, let's do it, and we gave. The couple believed that as they gave more, God would take care of their financial situation. Yanel even built a wall of debt. When I put the debt up, he said, you're going to put the scripture in the middle, on the inside, because it's going to implode. During this time, Yanel told God he wanted to leave teaching. I said, Lord, if only I can make three times what I make in a year, then I'll leave. I, I was like, Lord, I, I need an impossible miracle. Shortly after, Yanel received a surprise call regarding a wealthy buyer looking for property in the area. And within a month and a half, he made a huge sale. That one commission was three times his teaching salary. That one deal took down that wall that we were speaking to. The day that we got to call all the creditors to say, you'd be like the final payoff balance. It was so exhilarating. It was like the weight just, just fell off. They think this financial breakthrough was directly related to trusting God and giving what he told them to give. There was no other way it could happen. The phone call came out of nowhere. With a financial cushion from the commission, Yanel left teaching and started focusing on commercial real estate and its Christian productions and business and income picked up even more. The couple continued to increase their tithe and give to other organizations, including CBN. We want to be the hands and feet of Christ, and we believe that CBN is making an impact in the world and leaving the mark and definitely getting the word out there, and, and we wanted to be able to give to that. We love it. It's amazing. We high-five each other when we give. Like, yay, we did that. Today, Sky works in real estate with Yanel and their income is 300% more than when they first married. They're now tithing 13% and counting and encourage others to dream big and give. If the Lord has your ear with giving, then he can speak to you about anything else. Just try him. He said, prove me and see if I won't open up a window of heaven and, and pour you out a blessing that you don't even have room enough to receive. God is a multiplier and he'll take what little we give and turn it into much. He can turn your life around. God has wonderful abilities. Yanel had this great revelation. Here he is in the middle of debt. And he's, you know, he's all because of medical needs. He's, he's struggling. You know, what do I do? And God challenges him, give more. Imagine being in that situation and you hear that and you hear that clearly. But then imagine that you say yes to it. I want to do this. I want to live life your way. Well, then you walk into this wonderful promise. It's from 2 Corinthians chapter 9. God loves the person who gives cheerfully, and God will generously provide all you need. Then you will always have everything you need and plenty left over to share with others. Now, here's something that Paul adds. As the scriptures say, and he's quoting from Psalm 112, they share freely and give generously to the poor. Their good deeds will be remembered forever. The, another translation of that, this is the description of the righteous man that you find in the Old Testament. 
What does a righteous man do? He gives, and he gives generously and cheerfully to the poor. If you are wanting to have that, wanting to have the blessings of God where he provides all your needs, then do exactly what the scripture says. God loves the person who gives cheerfully. Now, if I can get a drum roll, I've got some wonderful news. Some existing CBN partners say they like giving to CBN so much, they want to challenge others to give. And these are par a partner right here in Virginia who says, I want to challenge others to give $75,000. So let's pray. Lord, we ask for blessing over this. We ask specifically for the partner in Virginia who made it possible to issue this challenge. Lord, open the windows of heaven over their life. Give them revelation of you. Establish them. Open heaven's windows and pour out a blessing they cannot contain. And for those watching right now making decisions, I just ask that you would bless them, that they would remember 2023 is the year of blessing, the year they made a decision to give cheerfully and to give generously and to follow your word throughout all of their days. Be with them now. Encourage them, for we ask it all in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. If you want to give, now's the time to do it because you'll be matched dollar for dollar up to and including $75,000. So call us, 1-800-700-7000. Just say, I want to be a member of the 700 Club. How much is that? Well, again, it's $20 a month, 65 cents a day. We also have 700 Club Gold at $40 a month. 1,000 Club is $1,000 a year. That breaks out to $84 a month. There are a lot of ways you can give. You can call us, that number on the screen, 1-800-700-7000. You can go to CBN.com when you give on the internet. Uh, it's a wonderful way to give. You can also text the letters CBN to 7177. Seven, and when you do, uh, you'll, you'll come up with a monthly giving page. Now, when you give monthly, you're automatically signing up for Pledge Express. That's electronic monthly giving, bank doing all the work. We can send as our gift to you, Power for Life monthly teaching CDs. So if you like those, ask for Pledge Express when you call or go to CBN.com or text to give. Either way, do it right now, 1-800-700-7000. Terry? Well, when you become a CBN partner, we want to send you this special gift. It's Gordon's latest teaching called Divine Direction, God's Blueprint for Your Future. And it's a great way to start the new year. I want to discuss with you three important questions. The answers to which will determine the course of your life. Where do you come from? Who are you? Where are you going? Divine Direction, God's Blueprint for Your Future. The latest audio teaching from Gordon Robertson. What does it really mean to be a child of God? What does it really mean to belong to God? What does it really mean that I'm going to God? In this teaching, you'll discover God's design for your life, your true identity in Christ, how to find purpose and direction, plus a daily devotional to strengthen your faith. When God looks at you, he's saying, you're exceptional. You are here for the very purpose that I thought of before the foundation of the world. When you have that picture of yourself, it changes everything. Divine Direction, God's Blueprint for Your Future, available now. You know, as we come out of the wonderful but full of hubbub season of Christmas and start a new year, it's a time to be looking forward and to be looking inward. Divine Direction will help you start your year and to start it with focus along with the Daily Direction. It's a wonderful 21-day devotional and we want you to have this. It's yours when you join the 700 Club, so call now, 1-800-700-7000. Gordon? Well, Debbie quit school in the eighth grade and started waiting tables. 2019, she and her business partner sold their company for $6 million. Debbie sums up the reason for her phenomenal success in one word, obedience. I wasn't the one in the room that could boast of any uh, schooling. Um, no one in my family was wealthy. Debbie Kirk was disinterested in school and dropped out after the eighth grade. She began working as a waitress to make money. I was working very full time, so probably 40, 50 hours a week, um, just managing, you know, this this restaurant and 
that by that time it didn't make sense to leave the job and go back to work to get an education. Debbie met someone who shared the gospel with her, and after giving her life to Christ, she learned the principles of tithing. About 16 years old, I started giving, and, and the Lord really laid on my heart at that time to give 20%. I was giving like 10% tithe, 10% offering. I remember this feeling of being like supernaturally protected. Over the next two years, Debbie became a night manager at the restaurant. God just blessed me in that business. Just by increasing, uh, increasing in position, increasing monetarily. At 22 years old, Debbie earned the trust of the owner and was offered a partnership. She was making more money and as a result, began giving more too. During my time at the restaurant, from the time that I was 16 to the time I was 22, I would have experienced about a 45 to 50% increase. Her restaurant business partner invited her to join him at his travel agency in an entry level role and she left the restaurant. However, Debbie soon realized that the company was nearly $300,000 in debt. Debbie used the wisdom God had given her, and before long, she was promoted to manager and eventually vice president. Debbie convinced her partner to tithe off the business profits. Whenever we would take the draws off of the company, we would absolutely tithe on those. Her partner saw her wisdom in tithing and how the company became more successful under her leadership. In total, she saved the company more than $300,000. He actually compensated me even more than himself um, because he could see that the agency was turning around. And I really see that as being the hand of God and the tithe and the offering. Debbie became part owner. And in 2019, they sold the company for $6 million. She says giving allowed her to give more. I started out by giving 20%, you know, then I would go to like 25% and then I would go to 30%. And what, before I retired, I was at 35% giving. I could see the hand of God and I knew that if I'm making more, I'm going to be giving more because this is what this is all about. I had recognized where everything had come from. I knew it, that, that God had blessed me. I attribute that to the faithfulness of God. Absolutely. The tithe, the offering, the covenant that we're with him financially. He protects, he protects us when we're in covenant with him. He set up the blueprint. So it's obedience. Today, she's helping others understand the wisdom and blessing in giving to God. It's not like works. It's like, God, I'm so grateful. I'm so thankful to you for all that you've done. How can I not, how can I not give back? How can I not honor you? How can I not give back? How can I not honor you? How can I not be generous with you? How can I not be cheerful in giving? Debbie came to a, a real understanding of one of the great truths in the Bible. If you trust God, if you believe in Him, then all these other things will happen for you. Here's the promise, and it's from Proverbs chapter 3. Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways, acknowledge him and he will direct your paths. Let Debbie's story encourage you. Here's someone who said, I don't want to do school. I, she dropped out of the eighth grade. She started waitressing. Okay. And in that, she made a determination. I'm going to give 10%. I'm going to tithe. And then I want to have an offering of another 10%. So here she is on a waitress salary and she's given away 20% of her income. God blessed her for that because he loves that cheerful giving. He loves that generous heart. And then she resolved, well, 20% is not enough. I want to give 25%. And then she said, I'm going to go to 30%. And then she said, I'm going to 35%. You saw the result of her heart and her heart attitude. I'm going to obey in all areas of my life and I'm going to give generously and I'm going to give cheerfully. Wonderful things happen to her and it can happen to you if you just follow the same principle. Now, if you want to start doing that in January of 2023, make a resolution. I'm going to be a generous and cheerful giver. Then give us a call. 1-800-700-7000. Say, I want to join the 700 Club. Now, uh, there's a lot of different ways you can give, a lot of different levels you can give. We have 700 Club Gold at $40 a month. We have 1,000 Club at $1,000 a year. We have 2,500 Club, which is 2,500 a year. Founders, $5,000 
$10,000 or more a year. Chairman Circle, $10,000 or more a year. Right now in the middle of a $75,000 challenge, if we can get the red number up, we've got $62,000 with 26 minutes left on the clock. And we're going to take the red number down. Here from Suffolk, Virginia, someone saying, I want to be generous, $3,000. Takes that red number down to 58,000. We need to hear from you, so call us right now. 1 800 700 7000. Let's go to Andrew at the phones. Andrew? Hey, thanks so much, Gordon. Hi, everyone. Well, it is a new year, and we want this one to be your best ever. And that's why we want you to have this new teaching from Gordon. It's called Divine Direction. And when you listen to it, you'll discover God's blueprint for your future. You are a divinely created human being. There is no one else in history like you, and God has a special plan for your life. Hello, this is Gordon Robertson. In my latest teaching, I examine three of life's biggest questions. Who are you? Where do you come from? Where are you going? How you answer these very important questions can hold the keys to your future. Hear Gordon Robertson's newest audio teaching, Divine Direction, God's Blueprint for Your Future. Gordon will guide you through the great questions each of us must ask and answer to discover our unique and specific purpose in life. As you unlock the answers to these three questions, you will see how God's plan can unfold for you. Get Divine Direction, God's Blueprint for Your Future. Yours when you become a CBN partner. I really want to encourage you to listen to this new teaching from Gordon and spend time in the devotional. There's a great devotional that goes along with it. Listen, a few days ago, I got up in the morning. I was a little weary and discouraged about some things that I'd be facing in the day. Got on my knees, as I usually do, to start my day in the Lord's presence. And I was reminded of things I heard in this teaching and I read about in the devotional. I am the Lord's. God wants relationship with me. He has a plan for my future, and He has a plan for my day. And it really infused me with spiritual energy and faith to take on the things I had to deal with that day. It was a great blessing. I think these insights will really help you as well. This teaching is yours when you join the 700 Club. It's very simple to do. It's just $20 a month. That's 65 cents a day. When you do so, when you call 800 700 7000, we will send you one copy of this great new teaching, Divine Direction, and we'll also send you the companion three week devotional that goes with it. Also, encourage you to join 700 Club Gold. That's $40 a month. And when you do that, we will send you three copies of the devotional and of the audio teaching. You can keep one for yourself and give two away. Or if you join us at a higher level, $84 a month. That's a thousand club or higher. You'll get five copies of the teaching. You can keep one, give four to people you love, friends, and family. And this devotional, this teaching is going to help you have a great 2023. I encourage you to join us at the 700 Club. You can call us at 1-800-700-7000 or of course you can text us. Text CBN to 71777. We're in the middle of a great challenge. The phones are hopping. I appreciate all the calls that have been coming in behind me. I encourage you to do so too. 800-700-7000. Terry, over to you. Well, when you become a CBN partner, you're going to be helping to save lives all over the world, like the life of a baby named Zhuang Sheng. His name means born strong. But shortly after his birth, this child was expected to die within 24 hours. Mrs. Yang had a feeling that her baby was going to be strong. When he was in my womb, he always kicked me in the stomach. So I said to my husband, He's going to be like Hercules. The Yangs are poor and couldn't afford hospital care, so their little boy was born at home, where his dad named him Zhuang Sheng, or Born Strong. But it wasn't long before he started losing his strength. He was unable to absorb nutrients effectively, so in less than a month, his weight dropped by 25%. He stayed in bed and couldn't move a muscle. His face changed from round to pointed. His skin went from pink to waxy yellow. When the Yangs found blood in his stool, they made him an herbal remedy. I went to the mountains to get herbs, and we asked our dead ancestors to put all their blessings in this herbal package. My mother tied it to Zhuang Sheng's stomach and said that, that would make him grow up healthy but he started getting worse. He fell into a coma, 
His eyes closed. His face was purple, and his lips were blue. His breathing was faint. I was so afraid. A doctor said Zhuang Sheng had a perforated colon, twisted intestines, and a dangerous bacterial infection. Without surgery, he would die within 24 hours. All I could think about was the way he smiled at me, the way he clapped his hands, and the way he kissed me. I cried and I kept calling my friends and relatives to borrow money, but no one lent it to me. He might never see the sun again. Mr. Yang appealed to the hospital for help. They put him in touch with CBN. And when we learned about Zhuang Sheng's need for life-saving surgery, we promptly provided it. He put on almost five pounds. He high fives and claps loudly, and is always crawling around on the ground. He loves riding cows and herding sheep too. I joke and say, Zhuang Sheng, you are so strong that the dentist can hardly hold you. And during all of this, the people at CBN told us about Jesus. And how he is the only God. So now we want to know about this God. Thank you to the CBN donors for helping our son and making him a real Hercules. That thank you goes out to every one of you who has felt the call of God in your heart to do something that matters and join the 700 Club. Such opportunity to make a difference. This is one little family, but 700 Club members, you are touching the lives of families around the world every single day. Let me show the rest of you the opportunity you have to make a difference. A general membership is just 65 cents a day, $20 a month. If you're already a general 700 Club member, would you consider going up to 700 Club? Club Gold that makes a big difference for us. That's a gift of forty dollars a month, or you could join the Thousand Club at eighty-four dollars a month, or become a twenty-five hundred Club member. That's two hundred and nine dollars a month. And then our founders join us at five thousand dollars a year. That works out to four hundred and seventeen dollars a month. Ask God what He'd have you to do, and then call with the joy and the encouragement of knowing you are literally saving lives every single day. We want to say thank you in advance, and we want you to know your gift, divine direction. Is going out to you the moment you call. So thanks. Let us hear from you. 1-800-700-7000. Gordon. Well, when you join the 700 Club, you help people right here in the United States. People like Nalita, who survived three hurricanes. No words can express the gratitude she feels because of the work of Operation Blessing. I've been through three hurricanes, and this one has really taken a toll. In the aftermath of Hurricane Ian, people like Nelida are still reeling from the extensive damage to their property. When you see the devastation around you, it really grips you. It grips you really hard. When we saw the devastation and we saw the chaos of all the trees all over the place, my first thought was, how? How are we going to clean this, and how long would it take us to clean it? Operation Blessing disaster relief teams visited multiple homes like Nelida's to help people take their first steps toward recovery. We removed trees and debris and tarp damaged parts of her roof. There's no words for the gratitude that we feel for them, you know, to come out here and do this for us. They come out here and stay for hours and hours cleaning up and helping and encouraging us along the way and praying with us. Thanks to the support of friends like you, relief teams are equipped and ready to help whenever disaster strikes. We're truly, truly grateful for what they do around the world. Not only here and when there's disasters, but the things that they do for others, the many others. And seeing now that Operation Blessing has come to help us out, I could only say thank you. That thank you goes to you if you're a member of the 700 Club. If you're not a member, I encourage you to join with us and say yes. I want to give. I want to be a part of it. Wonderful things can happen when tens of thousands of people get together and say, "Let's make a difference." When people are struggling, when people are hurting, let's extend hands of love and compassion to them to give them not a hand out, but a hand up in life to say, "We're with you. God loves you. We love you too."
And, and it's wonderful what happens when we all say, yes, let, let's do this. Let's help people around the world. A portion of every gift to the 700 Club goes into the work of Operation Blessing to help people, whether that's disaster relief, hunger relief right here in America, millions of pounds of food being delivered every single year to over 4,000 partners that we have running food banks, food outreaches. Uh, so many Americans have a whole lot more month than money these days. All the inflation is eroding everything. And we want to provide for them. We want to help them. Then Operation Blessing is working in centers around the world. And whether that's disaster relief, livelihood programs, special surgeries, water wells, you're a part of all of it. And then here's the best part when you join. A portion of every gift goes into the work of preaching the gospel around the world. You're supporting CBN International, where hundreds of millions of people are hearing the gospel, hearing the gospel in far off countries like India and Indonesia and Africa, throughout Latin America. You're a part of it when you join with us. So if that's you, give us a call, 1-800-700-7000. Say, yes, I want to join the 700 Club. Let's go over to Andrew at the phones. Andrew? Thank you, Gordon. Well, here's a question for you. Have you ever wondered about God's purpose for your life? In a new teaching from Gordon, you'll find out who you are in God's eyes, what God's Word says about you, and you'll discover His divine direction for your life. Before you were born, before the foundation of the world, you existed in God's mind, and He knew that the world would need you right now, today. Divine Direction, God's Blueprint for Your Future. The latest audio teaching from Gordon Robertson. I want you to know who you are in God's eyes and what God's Word says about you. You are exceptional because you are one of a kind. There's nobody else like you in the entire universe. You reflect Him in ways that only you can do. You have unique abilities a unique destiny, a unique purpose. When God looks at you, He's looking at you through eyes of destiny. Divine Direction, God's blueprint for your future. Yours when you become a CBN partner. Available now. Divine Direction is a terrific resource for us as we live life. Look, we all want to have a great 2023, and we need to remember the truth. You know, in Ephesians, Paul talks about the armor of God, and one of the things he talks about is the belt of truth, right? This teaching reminds you of the truth. There are so many distractions out there, so many lies coming our way. Gordon's new teaching reminds you your identity is in God. You are made in His image. I urge you to get a copy. It's yours when you join us at the 700 Club. Just call us at 1-800-700-7000. We are in the middle of a challenge. There's 13 and a half minutes remaining. You can also text us your gift. Text CBN to 71777. And if you join us, by the way, at 700 Club Gold, some of you are 700 Club members. That's $20 a month. But you can increase this year to 700 Club Gold at $40 a month. We will send you three copies of Divine Direction. You can keep one and give two away. So however you do it, whatever level you come in at, give us a call, 1-800-700-7000. And we thank you for your gift. Gordon, over to you. All right, I've got some wonderful news. Some partners from Illinois and North Carolina are joining together to add $60,000. Yes. Take us up to $135,000 and let's pray. Lord, we ask for blessing over this. We ask for the increase that comes from you, that 30, 60, 100-fold increase. We ask that you would bless the partners in Illinois and in North Carolina, that you would bless them above all they could ever ask or think. And for those watching right now, be with them, encourage them, bless them in 2023. Let your presence be known to them right now. Surround them with your love, for we ask it. In Jesus' name, amen. 135,000 is the challenge amount. 12 minutes and 17 seconds is the clock. We need to hear from you, so give us a call. 1-800-700-7000. Patricia was so excited about giving and tithing, she discussed it on her second date with Jeff. Well, at first, Jeff was reluctant, and then Patricia's persistence paid off. The couple committed to tithing before they married. And now they're both reaping the benefits. As a girl growing up in El Salvador, 
Patricia Tomlinson saw giving modeled at home by her parents. I will always see them like, you know, having a portion, you know, of their income aside to bless, uh, you know, these different um, ministries that will come and stay at the house. Because I didn't understand the concept of giving back then. But it was later on that everything like made sense. Tithing and giving became an important part of her life through the years. So much so that she wanted to discuss it with her now husband Jeff on their second date. I didn't understand even then the aspects of actually tithing 10%. And I thought, you know, I was doing a lot by giving $20. And I said, no, that's not how it is. And I showed him scripture, right? You have to take your amount of what you're getting and you put aside the 10%. You are left with the 90%. Although Jeff was a new believer, it didn't take him long to get on board. I really started looking at it as something I needed to do. And before we got married, we both decided that, uh, that we would tithe our 10%. And she started explaining the importance of the offerings, which is different from the tithing. In 2020, the couple became 700 Club partners after consistently watching the 700 Club. We would watch the show, and he said, you know, I would like to do something more. You know, we are so blessed. God has given us so much. So what do you think? He said, should we become partners? And I said, go for it. Operation Blessing, that goes around, especially after a disaster happens. It makes me feel good that I'm doing something for God in His kingdom. I like it because you're able to bless others, even as far as Israel. You can, you know, bless those families that are in need of having a home people that have been, um, you know, victims of hurricanes and things like that. The orphanages, places where there's so much need for kids that home don't have any parents. As they give to God's work around the world, the Tomlinsons have always seen God provide for them above and beyond their needs. Give with a cheerful heart, you know? God doesn't want anything from you that you don't want to give. Just unbelievably, it, it comes back tenfold. When you are faithful to him, he's faithful to you. He says, if you give, I'll, I'll give you. Good measure, pressed down, shaken, running over. What is little in your hands, it's a lot in God's hands. It's an act of faith. It's an act of faith when you give and say, I want to be just like God. For God so loved the world that he gave. I want to give out of love. I want to give generously. I want to give abundantly. Uh, I love this story. I can't imagine on a second date saying, well, we got to get serious about tithing if we're going to continue this relationship. But here she is, not just tithing, but well, now let's talk about offering. It's incredible when people join together and say, yes, let's do it God's way. Wonderful things will happen. You saw what has happened in these stories we've shown you today. You can have the same result if you have the same heart where you say, I want to give generously. I want to give cheerfully. Then God will provide all your need and you will always have plenty left over to share with others. If you want to start doing that, give us a call, 1-800-700-7000. We're in the middle of a challenge. We've got the red number 39,000 to go, and we're going to take the red number down. Here from McDonough, Georgia, 2,500, 2,500 club member coming in. And then from Chesterfield, Michigan, another 2,500 club member coming in. That takes us down to 34,000, eight minutes to go. Call us right now and be a part of it. 1-800-700-7000. Terry? Well, Cam is a single mom and she works in a pineapple factory. She made her living peeling 50 pineapples an hour until COVID shut that factory down. Cam was left with no mo money, no job, no food, and two young daughters to support. After Cam escaped her abusive husband, she struggled financially to raise her two daughters alone. To provide for them, she worked 10 hours a day, up to seven days a week, at a pineapple factory in Thailand. My mom peels 50 pineapples an hour. She is very fast. I'm so proud of her. It's been hard to take care of my daughters on my own, but whenever I feel tired, I just look at their faces, and I am filled with new strength. Then, Cam lost her job. I did not know what to do. When we had no food, I would borrow 50 cents from a neighbor to buy two eggs and some sticky rice. Sometimes my mom would eat our leftovers. 
but I don't think she felt full. CBN's Orphan's Promise first met the family when the girls attended an after-school program at a nearby church. There, they received hot meals, got help with school, and watched CBN's Superbook. When Cam lost her job, Orphan's Promise gave her what she needed to start a business making and selling banana chips. We gave her equipment and produce and taught her how to run a business. Cam now delivers chips to seven shops in the area and earns enough to feed her family and pay her bills. Now we always have lots of food to eat. Thank you for your kindness to our family. Because of the care they received through the church, the whole family has prayed to become Christians. I don't know where my daughters and I would be without the help from Orphan's Promise. We can't thank you enough. And we can't thank you enough either because these are families who wouldn't be making it without your help. So we say thank you for your compassion. Thank you for your generosity. You know, we've been talking to you about the fact that when you call and join the 700 Club at any level, we're going to send you divine direction. We want you to have that and the 21 day devotional as you head into 2023. But we have another thing we'd like to ask you to do. When you do call and say, I wanna join the 700 Club, would you do it using Pledge Express? That that's electronic monthly giving. It, it means your bank does all the work. You don't have to have stamps on hand or envelopes. You can stop it when you want, but it saves some additional expenses for us. And so we can put even more of your gift into the lives of people like Cam and her daughters. When you do that, when you use Pledge Express, we want to say thank you by sending you Power for Life teachings. You'll get one of these every single month. They're teachings we receive as a family here at CBN, and we'd like to share them with you as well. So will you call that toll free number 1 800 700 7000 just say I want to join the 700 club tell us what level and say I'd like to do it using pledge express we so appreciate it we say thank you Gordon well Andrew and MJ were making plans to welcome their fourth child the couple's finances were already stretched thin on Andrew's salary as a sergeant then they were hit with a major setback when their HVAC system broke down and here's how you gave this military family a hand up through CBN's Helping the Homefront. E-5 Sergeant Andrew currently serves at Fort Campbell, Kentucky. He knows it's important to maintain a balance between service to his country and family time. He relies on his wife, MJ, to hold down the fort during their long months of separations. She lives the primary example of what a godly wife should be. She takes care of the household. So when I'm gone, I have no worries. Um, thank you. Providing for a wife and three kids on a sergeant's salary takes budgeting discipline. Then the couple learned MJ was expecting their fourth. Although excited to welcome another child, they'd given away all their infant supplies. Now they had to start from scratch and buy necessities for their new baby. On top of this, their HVAC system broke down, costing $2,000 to fix it. That set us back in a major way. That was a definitely big blow. Getting a hold of our financial situation is a must because we have a family. It's not just me and her. As Christians, the couple relies on their faith in God to see them through every difficulty. We just gotta be patient. He's the provider. He provides regardless. Their situation took a turn for the better when a military outreach called Combat Fit Battleground asked helping the home front to assist. We said yes. Battleground leader Donnie Bowen came by to let the couple know CBN was reimbursing them for their HVAC repairs. That sounds great, thank you. <laughs> that was a good chunk of money that went to that and that is definitely helping with this baby. Donnie went on to tell them that helping the home front wanted to provide for their baby too. They've seen your wish list and CBN wants to get you guys the stuff that you need on that wish list. So they're gonna take you on a shopping spree. How's that sound? <laughs> <laughs> she goes, yeah. I'm gonna cry. <laughs> I'm gonna cry because that is, that is great. That is huge. That's a stress reliever. Amen. Uh, thank you. <laughs> yeah, God is good. He, he is, is faithful. He's yeah, faithful. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This cannot be completed without your guys' obedience and sensitivity and having love, his love in his heart. So thank you guys, because this is, this is great. Yeah. This is why I have confidence in the Father. 
Father's faithful through and through. With him, everything is possible, everything. Helping the home front took Andrew and MJ shopping that day. The fact that helping the home front and CBN is just open and able to give a blessing like this is, it's amazing. I do wanna thank the CBN partners for giving in order for us to receive these blessings. It's a very big thing and it is very appreciated. Thanks again. Thank you. Helping the home front, just one of the many outreaches of CBN and whether it's Orphan's Promise, Helping the Home Front, Operation Blessing, CBN International, you're a part of all of it when you join the 700 Club. So call us right now. We're on the tail end of this challenge. We want to go way over the top and some partners are helping us. Here's Jacksonville, North Carolina, $2,500. Deer Park, New York, $3,900. Auburnmont, North Carolina, 2,500. Burlington, Massachusetts, 2,500. What do you have? I got more. Here's from Rising Sun, Maryland, $2,500. Norristown, Pennsylvania, $2,500. Someone from Rock Island, Illinois, also $2,500. And Lux, Florida, $5,000. Going way over the top on this wonderful challenge, it just keeps pouring in. Manchester, Tennessee, 4,500. Terry Holt, if I'm pronouncing that right, Indiana, uh, 2,700. And uh, here's a tongue twister, North Tonawanda, New York. I didn't know there was a South Tonawanda, let alone a North Tonawanda, but there's a North Tonawanda, New York, $2,700. It's been a glorious day. We had 135,000 on a challenge, and against that, you gave 177. Here's a verse from Acts. Remember the words of the Lord Jesus that he said, it is more blessed to give than to receive. For all of us here, thank you. For everyone who called in and pledged, God bless you abundantly in 2023. We'll see you tomorrow.